Good morning, Grade 2. It is Thursday, April 30th, 2020, 4-30-20. Can you believe it? It's the last day of April. Wow. Our days have just been ticking by here. Tomorrow will be May 1st, May Day. Are you familiar with May Day? Uh, sometimes there would be dancing around the Maypole uh, with your ribbons, um, or maybe you would make a secret little basket or uh, gift of candies or flowers usually. It was usually flowers um, and you would take it to the neighbors and put it on their doorstep or on their doorknob and then uh, leave it there as a secret. Maybe tap on the door but then run away and so that it would be a little anonymous gift. Maybe there's someone you could do that for in your home. Make a little bouquet of uh, paper flowers or if you have some little treats that you can do and put it on just their bedroom doorknob and then that's something they could find for a little treat later. Something we can even do when we're just at home. Um, for memory treasure today, you have Romans 6 verse 23. Can you say it with me? For the wages of sin is death, but the undeserved gift of God is eternal life through Christ Jesus our Lord. Can't wait to hear it from you. Your story today is Daniel sees heaven. And um, remember to discuss the questions on the other side with your family as well. You have an epic read today and an AR test to take on that. And today is the last day of AR. But I'm pretty sure if I remember right, I think all of you have your goal. Great job. Way to go. Um, in math, we're going to be doing a worksheet together. So if you don't have that and a pencil handy, make sure you grab those things. Um, pause the video in a moment and grab those things to do our math together. Um, how's it going on your Junior Park Ranger books? Can't wait to, or packets, can't wait to hear a little bit more about that. Um, your, let's see, um, there's a new one, Families, which is our science one, uh, which you can work on if you want to start working on it today. It's not due until Monday, so you've got some time. But there's kind of a neat thing to uh, try on the back. Now, I did not give you any supplies for that. You'll just have to try different things at your home. Um, and the reason they have you grade it up is so that you can't tell, you know how you can tell that a carrot is a carrot? and a broccoli is a broccoli just by its texture more. Um, so they want you to try it just having little teeny pieces of it and putting it in your mouth with your nose beak plugged. And if you remember, sometimes when you've had a cold and you can't breathe, what happens with the food that you eat? That's what this experiment is all about. All right, lots of cool things to read about and of course um, videos to watch on your Studies Weekly website and then just a few fill in the blanks on the bottom here. All right, but again, that's not due till Monday. All right, the one that's due, oh, I left it at my other desk, but you know which one, the resources and choices one, that one is due tomorrow. Okay, so finish that up today. If you haven't already uh, gotten that finished and sent me a copy of that, a picture of that, make sure you get that finished and send that to me tomorrow, okay? Um, and then your letter, they have been super. So this is our last day of uh, letter writing for today, as long as you have done one each day so far and then get those mailed in so that the residents can enjoy your wonderful letters. They are so good. I know they're um, loving them. All right, are you ready for some math? Okay, so if you haven't gotten your things yet, pause the video now and then start it again when you're ready to go. Now I'm going to go to my other camera. We'll see how many hiccups my um, camera has today. Okay, so what we're going to be working on today is talking about um, if you spend so much money and you give the clerk a dollar, what will you get back in change? And we're also going to talk underneath that, what kind of coins would we get back most likely? What coins would we get back? Okay, so if you have 40 cents, how much more do you need to get to a dollar? Well, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, one dollar. So each of those is 10. How many 10 cents? 60 cents. And we know that 60 plus 40 is 100. Okay, 100 cents or one dollar. So we're going to get back 60 cents. Now, what coins do you think you will get back? Can you see that okay? Hmm. Maybe I'll write with this. Let's see if this works better. And maybe you're able to see it. It's just a little bit light on my end here. Hopefully you can see it. 60 cents. All right. What coins would you get? Well, let's talk about, usually we don't get 50 cent pieces back for change. We usually get 
quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And you want to always think about what's the least number of coins I could get. So how many quarters could we get from 60 cent, out of 60 cents? Two, right? Quarter and a quarter, that would be 25, 50, and then what would we need from there to get to 60 cents? Sorry for the hiccups there. We would need a dime. So two quarters and one dime give us 60 cents, right? 25, 50, 60 cents. So two quarters, and I'd like you to write this down too, one dime. So we wrote how much change we'll get, we drew the coins, we wrote what they are. And we'll do that on each one. All right, let's look at number two. You went shopping with a dollar and you bought a pencil for 20 cents. So how much change will you get back? This one, I think it's easier to go backwards. If I go back $1 or from 100, then it would be 90 and then 80. So how much change will I get back? 80 cents. So what coins will you get back with your change? Well, how many quarters can we get that is less than 80 cents? You got it, three, 25, 50, 75. All right, and then what would be the next coin from 75 cents to 80 cents, what would I need? A nickel, very good. All right, so 25, 50, 75, and then another nickel would make it 80 cents. That's the coins we would get back. So we would write three quarters, Q-U-A-R-T-E-R-S, one nickel, and nickel is N-I-C-K-E-L. Remember, it's E-L at the end of nickel. My camera is having trouble staying focused. Makes it look like it has the hiccups. <laughs> All right, let's try number three. So here we are buying a ruler. Hmm, looks like it's a ruler that got bit off at the end. I don't know if I would pay 25 cents for that. <laughs> Hopefully they're just showing us part of the ruler. So you paid 25 cents and you paid for it with a dollar. Something that cost 25 cents. Do you know already what it would have what you would have left? 75 cents. Very good. Whoops. I forgot the five. I have to mark that in there, 75 cents. And that's an easy one. What would we have left? 25, 50, 75, then a dollar, right? So three quarters is what we would have to make 75 cents. Good. All right, you purchased a notebook and it's 90 cents. That's an easy one too. How much will you get back? 10 cents. What coin do you think you'll get? One dime. That was a really easy one, huh? We have two more left to do. We'll be done in no time. All right, so you bought a juice box. It cost 50 cents. You paid for it with a dollar. What will you get back? You got it. You'll get 50 cents back. 50 cents and 50 cents makes a dollar. What coins will you get back? You got it. Two quarters will make 50 cents. So we'll get two quarters. And our last one, an ice cream cone or a snow cone costs 75 cents. What will your change be from $1? You will get back 25 cents. What coin? Just need one quarter. Now there certainly are other quarters that make 25 cents, but that is most likely what you would get back. We always wanna think about what's the least number of coins that we can use to make our change. 
Look at that. You are D-O-N-E done. I would like you to take a picture of this. Make sure you have spelled your coin words correctly. I want to see the change, the coins, and the words. Remember, would it be okay to pause this right here? Yep, it sure would. You could pause it and you could make sure that you have everything done correctly. Okay, back to me. Hello, here I am again. Well, that was kind of fun. Got to go shopping, spent a dollar on all sorts of little things, and we got some change back. Well, for pretend anyway. All right. Be sure you call me if you have any questions. I look forward to seeing you soon and hearing your memory treasures today. Bye-bye. I mean, really, bye-bye. Nope, really, bye. See ya.